If you want to know specific information or make certain changes to the car during a pit stop, you can tell me what you want over the radio. Press and hold the radio button to activate the system. We're all ready for tomorrow's race, but before we begin, let's have a quick look at those who will be fronting the grid. Schumacher, Bottas and Lewis Hamilton. Well, that wraps up qualifying, but don't worry, we'll be back tomorrow as we head into the Grand Prix. It's time for the Italian Grand Prix once again, here at the beloved and iconic Autodromo Nazionale di Monza. With the lowest downforce and drag of any circuit in the season, expect to see drivers making the most of the slipstream effect here today. With top speeds reaching 215 miles per hour, only a few places can challenge Monza's crown as the fastest circuit in F1. Hard braking zones going into the three chicanes make up the majority of the 11 corners on this 3.6 mile circuit. And just in case the slipstream wasn't enough, two DRS zones will help encourage some closer action. And what would any Grand Prix weekend be without the one and only Anthony Davidson? Alongside me, as always, to talk you through the action. Well, to start with, I have to feel bad for Carlos Sainz. He gave it everything he had in qualifying, but he just couldn't get the performance he needed. And he's starting well behind where he should be. Besides that, of course, any kind of Turn 1 incident could completely turn the race on its head. Let's keep our fingers crossed everyone can get through in one piece. With the race minutes away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Schumacher lines up on pole position, and it's Valtteri Bottas that completes the front row. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Hamilton, Verstappen, Charles Leclerc and Gasly, Ricardo, Ocon, Albon and Sebastian Vettel, Sainz, Norris, Daniel Kvyat and Stroll, Perez, they've taken a grid penalty. Giovinazzi, Kevin Magnussen and George Russell, Raikkonen and Roman Grosjean sits at the back of the grid. Now, it's almost time for lights out, so let's go down to the track.
They made great use of the clear air today then and didn't allow anyone to exploit the slipstream behind them. What a great win here at Monza. Tell me, Ant, how did they manage to achieve this win? I think that smart tyre management on track and very smooth driving definitely assisted in their victory today. That combination meant they got the absolute maximum out of their tyres at all times. It looks like it's time once again to hand out the silverware as these successful drivers make their way to the podium. It was a gritty performance today by Williams and they've got the race win to prove it. So let's review the updated driver's standings. More points for Valtteri Bottas, further solidifying his lead at the top of the table. After an incredible day of racing, who was your driver of the day, Ant? Well, for me, it's got to be Lewis Hamilton. The multiple world champion may be the boring choice at this point, but you can't argue that he's a driver deserving of his reputation. I know that's at odds with the official decision, but I think they deserve some recognition on a day where both of these drivers are at the top of their game. The Constructors' Championship may be a foregone conclusion at the moment, but regardless, let's look at the standings. It's another clear win for Mercedes as they manage to secure the Constructors' title. An incredible performance for the whole team. Another team that excelled today was Williams, who make further progress up the table. After an event like that, who knows what the sport has in store for us next time. Be sure to join us again as we continue to bring you the latest excitement in Formula One.